Being completely in charge of when the car shifts can make driving a manual transmission car a lot of fun. However, a stick shift car may experience mechanical problems. For instance, it's important to be aware of the signs of a slipping clutch so you can address the issue quickly. In this short video, we go over the most common signs of a slipping clutch. It's the Car Problems YouTube channel. Subscribe and let's get started. Rising RPM, Lack of Speed there is a telltale indication when the clutch slips, based on the RPMs. Although you'll notice an increase in engine RPMs, you won't experience the corresponding increase in speed. Additionally, the RPMs might increase considerably more than they would if you were driving. When you attempt to pull off a busy highway or prepare to pass another car, you might become aware of this issue. The engine revs quickly and makes noise when you try to accelerate, but the car doesn't move faster. As soon as it happens, it could be over and the car could continue to move forward normally. Decreased Engine Performance Along with the occasional problems, the loss of engine power can also happen more frequently. When your car is under extreme strain, like when you're towing, you might notice that the engine isn't producing as much power as it should. The engine must transfer power to the drive wheels, but if the clutch is slipping, this is challenging. The engine cannot supply the required power while the clutch is engaged because it is not connected to the drive wheels. In some cases, it may be less obvious because you may not experience the same degree of performance issues while driving on a regular highway. It's crucial to remember that a weak engine doesn't necessarily indicate a slipping transmission. In actuality, a wide range of issues can be connected to this symptom. However, it's worth taking the clutch slipping into account if you notice this symptom along with others. Burning smell. You might smell something burning coming from the front of the car as the clutch slips. This odor is caused by the excessive heat produced by the slipping clutch and engine disengagement. Consider the aroma of overheated brakes to compare the odor you might detect. Because the materials are closely related, there is a similar smell. The smell intensifies as the clutch slips more frequently. Clutch pedal height change. You are probably accustomed to where the clutch, brake, and gas pedals are located if you spend a lot of time in your car. You can predict where the clutch pedal will rest when you depress it and lift your foot off the ground. However, if the clutch starts slipping, that height might alter. It might revert to a position that is either too low or too high. You'll discover that in order to push it, you must alter the position of your foot. Sometimes all that's required is a minor adjustment to the clutch pedal, but even that won't prevent the clutch from slipping. Quicker clutch disengagement. When the clutch operates as intended, the engine and drive wheels can be disconnected after 1 to 2 inches of clutch pedal depressing. The clutch may be slipping if you start to notice a change in this operation. Even if the clutch pedal barely moves down an inch, the engine might disengage after that. Even putting your foot down halfway on the pedal could cause the engine to disengage, which would make driving even more problematic. How to fix a slipping clutch A slipping clutch can only be fixed by replacing it, and that is the only real solution. However, if the clutch is sound and the only reason it's slipping is a leaking rear main seal, you must first fix this issue. The transmission must be dropped in order to access the rear main seal, so it makes sense to replace the clutch concurrently. The flywheel and pressure plate might also benefit from a resurface or replacement at this time. These parts deteriorate with time as well. The excessive heat and constant metal-to-metal -metal contact will also harm these components if the clutch is worn. A qualified mechanic can point you in the right direction. Not only should unneeded work be completed, but you should also consider potential future projects to cut costs in the long run. Hope the information was useful for you. If so, please press the like button and subscribe to the channel.